Good afternoon everyone. It's a nice bright sunny day today. Perfect day for me to give you a tour of my brand new van. So this is my 2020 Ram 1500 Promaster. It's got a 118 wheelbase which pretty much means it can make tight turns. It doesn't have to make very wide turns. It's great. It's a pretty good size. It's big, but then again, it isn't big. It's uh, it's fun size. See on the inside, it's got a lot of room. And I can pretty much stand up, not straight, but I can actually stand in here, hunched over a little bit. And I don't want to get a high top because I want to still be able to have access to more places like, you know, drive throughs and garages. This can actually go in some garages. So this is where I'm going to put the bed right here. Uh, it's going to go on these beams right here. It's going to be a platform built across right there. And it's going to, I'm going to be able to sleep from side to side right here. That's how wide this van is. It's a little over six feet wide. So a full size bed will fit right there with no problem. Which frees up all the room underneath in this area right here is going to be storage between the wheel wells and then right here is going to be the kitchen cabinet area with uh, sink storage place to cook and then I might put a window right there like a little window with a screen I'm definitely going to put one back here somewhere either on this side or that side for circulation and I'm kind of glad this this one that I bought didn't come with windows in the back because it's one less thing to have to worry about to insulate, um, to put a cover over at night when you're trying to sleep, put curtains. I would just rather not have any windows back there. Let me open the double doors back here. <clears throat> See all that room? It's kind of room. I like these doors, how they open here. Almost completely flat when you open them. And they don't hit the body too, they stop. Stop right before. Get back so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, see that? the cab part see my mask and my water there and look at my napkin collection <laughs> that's got a really nice modern interior here it's got a shelf up above too which is really useful seats are pretty comfortable and you can see I kind of got a little ghetto down there I'm waiting for my mats to come in. My uh, it's it's one piece mat, and it's it's the original um, mat that you can get, and it covers the whole area. It's a unique uh, floor here, so you can't just go and like buy any mats at the store and expect them to fit. And it also covers this area right here, so the middle area. And there, those slush mats is real heavy duty. Keeps all the dirt in and everything. It's got a backup screen here, of course, and info center. A lot of little storage area. I don't want to take that sticker off it, this little uh, card that sticks out here that's stuck to the inside. Just because how often do you get a new car? <laughs> I'm going I'm to leave it there until it just falls off.
I love these mirrors. You can see everything just fine. There's no blind spots with this mirror on the bottom right here too. It helps because it's uh, the way it's angled. Then you got turn signals. Oh, and they're also heated mirrors, which I used on this maiden trip that I took the van on. Huge windshield, you can see everything. This one doesn't have fog lights. I opted for no fog lights. Big beefy tires. And I definitely put those to the test. It cuts through water pretty easy. I didn't ever pull the wheel to the right or to the left when I was going through puddles of water when it, during a rainstorm. It handled pretty well. Pretty good ground clearance too. You can see. Something that was important to me because uh, I want to go on uh, you know dirt trails, dirt roads, but nothing too crazy, nothing that like you need a four-wheel drive vehicle for. Which brings me to the next thing. This is front wheel drive. It's one of the few vans, full-size vans that you can get front wheel drive. And front wheel drive makes a huge difference on not getting stuck in sand and on remote roads out in the middle of nowhere. All the weight is up front right here. You know, with the engine, the transaxle, the gas tank. Gas tank is actually right here, which is really convenient. So everything, all the, most of the weight is up here. So yeah, like right now it does kind of bounce around a bit because it wants weight in the back. But that's going to be remedied, of course, when I do the build out. It's going to have the bed back there and the kitchenette and anything that I bring. Ice chests, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, I drove it 3,000, almost 3,000 miles this last trip. Definitely passed the test. Oh, and these uh, mirrors are electric, by the way, they fold in, which is really, really helpful when you're parking in tight spaces and you don't want to, them to get hit. And they think of everything, like they, they put the headlights high on this vehicle, up high, so that if you get in the fender bender, you know, the vehicle sits high already, and the headlights are way up there. Uh, it's one less thing to get damaged. This is easily replaced. Uh, it's a lot easier to replace that than the headlights. So that's about it. Can't really think of anything else.